Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 13th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, always looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, as we did have yet another M-class solar flare taking off from the outgoing sunspot region on the right-hand side that has been the most active big sunspot grouping and as well we've got a couple more coming in we do have a couple more cmes as well on their way to earth and just waiting for those to come in minor cmes nothing like what we saw the other day last 48 hours incoming this is where we have those huge sunspot groupings definitely going to be keeping an eye on that outgoing imagery here big sunspot grouping leaving and as well on the right hand side that big plasma filament which I zoomed up and showed yesterday. Just some amazing images here with our star. And here is the most recent M-class solar flare taking off from the bottom right-hand region of our sun. Looking at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide, and thank you for watching. Corona hole regions there, turning away and another one building in pretty complex region behind a sunspot right there so keeping an eye on things with our planet right now another way to see our sun here just some amazing images and colors and right now we have 13 sunspots having a look at those sunspot regions in motion One, two, three, four strong, defined, and growing quickly black holes on our surface of our sun. Another quick look here at outgoing region. Current space weather conditions, we are under R2, moderate radio, radio blackouts, S1, minor solar radiation, and as well, G2. So level two geomagnetic storm impacts. Solar winds are coming in at 572 kilometers per second right now. Definitely down from what we saw a couple days ago. Solar X-ray flux showing here. The last 48 hours, two X-class solar flares and about five or six M-class solar flares. Most recent M-class was a long duration. Instant solar radiation. KP index hopping up to K, uh, KP6 throughout the day today. Having a look at the current Space Weather Prediction Center, showing the most recent CMEs taking off towards our planet. Expected arrival late into the 14th of May, so tomorrow night. And then continuing on for about a 24-hour period. Have a quick look here, showing all of that cosmic ray radiation penetration throughout the day today across the Atlantic and West Africa. High absorption, highest frequency affected areas here across the world. Thank you all for subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide and as well, thank you for all of the amazing love and support to the channel. I appreciate y'all being here, staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. And God bless you all and prayers for humanity during these space weather events and as well worldly events that we are going through. Watch for an uptick in seismicity over the next 24 to 36 hours. Having a look at tonight's Aurora view line and as well tomorrow night's. Not so strong tonight, but as far down as the Canadian border. But for tomorrow night, there will be another strong aurora. As far down as parts of northern Ontario and as well Montana being visible. Having a look here at Alaska 2, showing the last three days of cosmic energies leaving our sun. Big CME there. Look at all that cosmic energy coming at us. 
We had that sun diving comet shown yesterday, and then boom, that is the big, most recent coronal mass ejection from the M-class solar flare. We're going to slow that down again here. Sun diving comet, and then boom. And I've seen that a few times where all of a sudden a sun diving comet comes in, and hours later is a huge CME. Amazing images brought to you by Soho satellites mixed with NOAA and NASA. Another quick boom there with that large CME. And that one is arriving tomorrow night. Sun diving comet and boom. Amazing stuff. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're sitting at about 230 to 40 earthquakes according to USGS 24 hour period but a very deep earthquake here 4.7 Fiji region 623 kilometer depth that's the deepest we've seen all week coincidentally enough coming during the space weather event deep penetration cosmic ray penetration along all fault lines around the world. Activity coming back to Indonesia, Philippines, and as well up into Mariana's Trench. Pretty sizable eruption through northern Indonesia at the Ibu Volcano. Notable activity here, eastern Russia, 4.4, Kamchatsk, and as well, Aleutian Islands, Adak, Alaska, with a 3.6. Minor activity, but not much to report there. No major swarms to talk about except for... The one at the Mexico-Cali border. Still continuing on today. Earthquakes are a little bit smaller in magnitude. Notable activity here. Caribbean plate into the Cocos plate. 4.4. Uh, Selena Cruz, Mexico. And as well a 4.1. Suchiate. 5.0 here reported. Central East Pacific rise. And as well, notable activity here further down south, Constitution, Chile, 5.2 magnitude earthquake, 4.9 earthquake there reported, Central Mid-Atlantic Ridge, new one here, 4.1, Greece off the coast, 4.9, Ethiopia from yesterday, and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, seeing a small increase, but we are expecting a deep earthquake, now we can expect a larger magnitude shallower earthquake to follow most times that's just based on research and evidence throughout the last seven years documenting earthquakes and space weather events they do correlate together this is looking at the last seven days for shakers around the world largest of being the 6.4 that we saw yesterday in mexico expect something to come here within the next 24 hours so heads up my friends and family stay tuned to daily events worldwide smack the like leave a comment hit the notification bell and don't miss an update now let's have a look at our so2 forecast strong emissions coming out of northern bc from those fires that i had posted on yesterday northern british columbia and as well northern alberta All these SO2 models brought to you by our 48 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Speaking of which, Ibu Volcano had a pretty large eruption overnight. So already seeing a strong SO2 forecast here coming over the island in which it had erupted. Quick look here at NASA. Uh, Zoom Earth. Overlooking the region of the Ibu Volcano, there's also Dokono just north, as you can see in the northern part of the island, smoke coming out, and then a big plume there in the center part of the island. That is the eruption at Ibu. Coming into today, just fueling into the atmosphere. Carrying on here around the rest of the world, most of North or Central Africa seems to be clearing out over the next few days from that large eruption uh, Indonesia last week, Mount Rung. 
and then overlooking South America here. Notable SO2 all along the coastline South America from Colombia to Chile. And notable all of that smoke that is moving in across Canada. Having a look here at world weather, all of the orange little dots, those are hot spots. We've got a pretty large system here coming into Ireland and the United Kingdom for the next few days. Dust storm sweeping off of the, the Sahara, off the African continent. We do have a possible cyclone here developing for parts of northern Madagascar. Other than that, no new fires, no major systems to talk about. Just keeping an eye on things as getting into the summer months, northern hemisphere, and it's really going to start heating up. So friends and family, stay safe out there and be safe out there with all your lit cigarettes and possible carelessness with barbecues. Just be mindful, be safe. Having a look here in NASA worldview, overlooking northern Alberta and Alberta. Uh, northern BC, thick plumes of smoke coming out from those fires in the north. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Oh, look at what they're drawing here. Huh. Cool stuff. That was yesterday. This is today. Hmm. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.